What's going on guys, have a good night. Back with another video, so I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you guys about the five different types of players in Clash Royale. So obviously there's more than five, I mean there's tons. But if you guys want to go ahead and leave some below in the comment section, go ahead and do that and I'll probably make part two. So the first one is, jumping right on it, is the Rusher. Now this guy is the one that spends all of his elixir to be the first one to bring in a massive push without even knowing what you have. Like, come on. When it comes to rushing a battle, you never know if the guy you're facing has a comeback deck. You can usually tell if he has one if he has elixir collectors. Like me, I always have comeback decks and people don't know that. For those of you who are still confused on what is a comeback deck, it's a deck that takes advantage of the elixir collectors when there's two of them down or in the 2x elixir time. The reason why is to go ahead and have enough elixir to go in with a huge push to your tower so, you know, try and not rush. The next one is the taunter. This is the guy who always taunts to anything and everything. His hog rider gets one hit on your tower and <laughs> he arrows your one million goblins and <laughs> he wins the match and of course <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the taunters because let's be honest here after finally winning a match at least once you spam the hell out of your taunts. Don't lie. We've all done it. The next one is the bully. This is that high level guy that sits in low arenas because he sucks. Now I have no one to talk because back when I was level 8, I sucked and I was at arena negative 69. But there's a huge difference when let's say a level 10 beating a level 8. And the worst part is when he spams the taunts because he somehow thinks he's finally good. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but if you're a high ass dude that is satisfied with beating people two levels lower, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, just, just, no. No. The next one is the noob. Alright, let's not bash on the noobs because we were all there at one point. I mean, it's not that hard to be good at Clash Royale anyways, it's just 1, 2, 3, ABC. But there's just a few people that never learn the basics for some reason. Like, for example, throwing arrows or a fireball at the King Tower. Or using a rocket to take down troops. Or even more, using all of his elixir knowing that the other guy has a level 69 P.E.K.K.A. queued up on his deck. Of course, there's many other examples, but yeah, there's that. The noob. And finally, we have the last one, which is the defender. This is that one guy that usually has the bomb tower, Tesla cannon, eagle artillery, wizard tower. I know those are anything in the game, but just go along with it. I mean, come on, seriously. Unless everyone using these decks is apparently making a troll video or something for YouTube, there's no reason why you should think these decks work half the time. Well, except if you're using a spawner deck, because to be honest, it isn't even that bad. I mean, the higher you go, the worse it gets with spawner decks. They don't work in the legend. Well, they kind of do, but the higher you go, the less they become relevant because the wizard, fireball, those marshmallow on fire thingies, I don't know what they're called, fire spirits, and many other cards just to beat these decks. But there's a huge difference when it comes to deploying defense after defense. Like if the defense had legs or something and it can walk to the other tower. I mean, if you suddenly achieve to go ahead and successfully defend, all you're doing is probably getting a tie every game. So, what does, where should that get you? So, you know, think about it. But yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much it for today's list. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys took anything in offense, I am sorry. But all of this is meant to be taken as a joke. So, yeah. As I said earlier, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And I'll probably make another one as well. And uh, that'll be pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comment section. And we saw you too. See you all in the next one.